In this video, we will be talking about graphing points and lines given a coordinate plane. This is a coordinate plane. It has a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. The horizontal axis is called the X axis and the vertical axis is called the Y axis. Where the two axes intersect each other, this is called the origin. And it's also the coordinate point zero, zero. So if we wanted to find a coordinate or find a different place or a specific place on a graph, we would have to be given an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So for a coordinate plane given directions, we can find a certain point by going to the right or left and then up or down as x, y. This just means that if you're given directions, you can head to the left or right and then up or down and write those two different values in the form x, y. If we have an equation, we can pick values for x and find values for y. Let's try example one, which is graphing coordinate points. If we know that this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis, we can find the coordinate point negative two, three by traveling to the left from the origin two spaces or two units and then heading in the vertical or up direction three spaces and this is the coordinate point negative two, three. Let's try the coordinate point four, negative one. Remember once again that four represents the horizontal movements from the origin and the second value or the negative one represents the vertical movements up or down from the origin. So starting at the origin, we're going to move to the right four spaces and then down one space since it was negative. And this is our point four, negative one. The coordinate point negative two, negative four means we start at the origin and we are going to head to the left two spaces and then down one, two, three, four spaces. And this is the coordinate point negative two, negative four. The coordinate point zero, three starts at the origin and we move zero spaces in the horizontal direction and up three spaces in the y direction. And this is the point zero, three. The point negative one, zero again starts at the origin. We head to the left one space and then up or down zero spaces. And so this is the coordinate point negative one comma zero. Lastly, we have three, four as the coordinate point. Once again, starting at the origin, we're going to head up, sorry, uh, starting over again, we're gonna s head to the right three and then up four. 
and this is the coordinate point 3, 4. Example number two is related to the second statement which says if we have an equation we can pick values for x and find values for y. So if we were to pick values like negative 1, 0, and 1, we would be trying to find values for y given the fact that x has certain values assigned to it. So this is where we're going to find what y equals. So we know that y equals 2x minus 1. So we're going to put 2x minus 1 in for y and solve for y with values for x. So we know that 2 times negative 1 minus 1 equals negative 3. So now we found x and a value for y when x equals a specific value. And we could plot that point starting at our origin. x is negative 1, y is negative 1, 2, 3, and that would be our first coordinate point. If we put 0 in for x into the equation, we would get something that would equal negative 1. So we know that our next coordinate point is 0, negative 1. And lastly, if we put 1 in for x so that we can find y, we get 1. And so our next coordinate point is the coordinate point 1, 1. And notice that all our dots are in a nice line and we're able to connect them to create a line.